Bill Barber was a popular teacher and football coach at Garnet Valley Middle School, but state police say he used that position to sexually assault a former student in his office two weeks ago. But your body makes me crazy. Ugh. This podcast is about positivity. Ugh. Bringing positivity into people's lives because people really need it, especially after the dark couple of years we've had, which I feel very sorry for all those people who've had to go through all those hardships. I'm sorry, guys. Ugh. Rules for the podcast are I will not allow any conversations about drugs or weaponry or violence, mass shootings, massacres, or any devastating events that happened in the past. None of those things because they could, could trigger bad memories and cause people to become offended. Because some of them are pretty touchy subjects. Oh. Most importantly, my podcast has a strict no COVID talk policy, which means nobody, including myself, is allowed to talk about anything related to the virus, including lockdowns, politics, and vaccines. People have heard enough about that for one day. The Wild Wild West. Ugh. What's up, dude? Hello. What's going on, friend? How are you? Pretty good, man. Doing all right. Pretty good. Actually, you might think that I wore these silly socks today, but no, I didn't. I forgot all that about wasn't on purpose. No, these are my. I have like tiers of my favorite socks. These are probably like level three. Out of how many tiers? Uh, about five or six. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have like five different species these are average, of socks. These are medium socks for you. Yeah, they're hospital socks. They have grip. Ooh, that's so nice. It's nice. With those when, comfy shoes. Oh, dude, it's crazy. I'm wearing my cool Notre Dame, dude. Basically, I'm on the team at this point. You're like the Heisman Trophy itself, dude. <laughs> dude, that's touching. You're flexible, I'm touching, bro. Dude. I am flexible. I could suck my own dick, dude. <laughs> You're about to get roasted. <laughs> Rogie's got in trouble you for saying. Well, you didn't get in trouble, but they, everybody thinks. It's Why funny, would they use that against you? It's funny to make fun of somebody for a joke they made. Yeah. To be like, yeah, I'm I'm fat, and then people be like, yo, he's fat. Oh, <laughs> like, dude, you can't make fun of Rogie's for the joke he made. Yeah, dude. He and also, said something silly. He might be able to, too. I believe him. Yeah, I don't think he would lie. He said, I, th I think he did it. He said he got it close. He said he got. It, he wanted to get it close, so he knew he could do it. It's I think like, he dude. tapped a closed mouth. I think he did just a drill where it was like, yeah, all right, I'm in. Yeah. In a bind. I have this in my back pocket. Yeah, dude. Plane's going down. Dude, that's kind of <laughs> what they tell you. That's still what they tell you to do. What? Try to. When you, when you look at the diagram. That you basically try to suck your own dick before yeah. you die. Everyone in the picture, their face is like right down in their lap. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. I don't listen to those anymore. They bother me. I go. I always those go Those announcements through. are so fucking annoying. Yeah, they're pretty brutal. Like in a case of a water accident, it's like, dude, if yeah. there's a plane crash in the water, we're just dead. We're fried. Bro. Knock it off. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, I read the, uh, every time we fly, when I fly with Maya, I pull the thing out and I read the story of people crashing to Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then the plane went down and everyone was swimming in a raft. Yeah. They I'm do, like, and a baby a floated by itself. Like, a lot of them do cool videos. They, some have. Where they, like, yeah. have, like, a cool video showing you a plane accident. Do they really know? No, they don't show the plane crash, but they're, like, in case of an emergency. And it's all, it's, like, a diversity group, like, uh, you know? It's, like, a commercial group of model, models that would be in commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like, oh, in case of a horrific plane accident. You know? Yeah, some hot babe comedy. Yeah, they should show what it's like. They should show real footage. They should, or just like a movie. They should be like, "Yo, this could happen." Yeah, but get ready. Like, I hope it doesn't. But just so you know, just so you know, here's nine yeah. eleven footage. When you guys were bitching about taking off fifteen minutes late, yeah, here's what could happen. This is, this is something. We, yeah, yeah. It's why we check shit and kind of wait so we don't crash into a plane. Yeah, I don't like when they're willy nilly. Yeah, dude, you guys want you want to rush? I like them to take their time. Me too. If I'm sitting on the tarmac for like three hours, I'm like, good. good. Yep, exactly. Please check this thing the fuck out. Dude, the full, yeah, the full oil was, change. It's funny. I was on a plane yesterday, and while I was taking a piss, I was like, right on the other side of this is just death. Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like- oh, I crapped uh, on a plane. What? You finally did? I crapped on a plane, dude. On what? the way out to San Diego, I took a dump. Dude, it's the best. I never f sat down and flushed. That's a wild feeling. Wait, what? I was sitting down. I didn't want the I didn't want the turd to lay on the 
steal the open <laughs> <laughs> the prison toilet True. that I was using. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was flushing as turds were coming out. Oh, really? You were dropping them I, one dude, by one? I didn't. You were carpet bombing. Yeah, I had to. I had to. You can't leave a turd on the on the. Sure, you can, dude. Bro, that's crazy. You're a customer of their aircraft. I understand you that. Be There's other customers. They'd be comfortable. It's not like when you fart on it. It's, the fart smells that come out on the oh flight are so God, funny, dude. dude. Just everyone just farting and like no one's gonna know. Mm-hmm. And but a dump, a dump coming from the front. Everybody knows, especially I'm walking. Pilots out. catching that. Pilot, yeah, pilots, pilots are like, uh, what, the hell? what the hell is that? Uh, <laughs> I it, said, I said, I dumped hard on the, so on the aircraft. Psh, psh, psh. It, it was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, you're flushing nonstop. People probably appreciate took a crap, you like, Yeah. You took a crap? A crapula. <laughs> <laughs> I dug through the ditches up there. <laughs> and, uh, actually, this is good. You're going to like this. On the flight back, I sat, yeah. next, sat next to a severely autistic man. What? Yeah. He was wild. He's the Arabic. Yeah. Autistic man. That was like, as he was coming down the aisle, he was like, I, I heard him yell. He's like, somebody's in my seat. I was like, holy yeah. shit. Who is this? I, it was so loud. I could hear it over my music. And he was at the front of the plane, <laughs> took it out to watch him. I was the guy in the seat. And he was like, um, excuse me. You're in seat B. I am in seat B. And I was like, I think it's, uh, and the guy in front of me was like, no, that's B. And I was like, all right. I was like, do you want to just sit there? And he's like, I can't. My luggage. I was like, all right, I'll move. <laughs> I'll move. It's not a big deal. And uh, I sat there the whole flight, dude. This guy was screaming. What? He got a sandwich. He was like, it's frozen. <laughs> and the and the store just was like, it can't be frozen. I know it's not frozen. He's oh like, my, my sandwich is frozen. And she was like, everybody else ate their sandwich and it wasn't a big deal. He's like, maybe they ate frozen sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. So he's an absolute hero. He was a hero, but he was having fun. He was oh excited. My dude, God. he spent. 45 minutes easily just up in the front with the stortuses talking about planes and shit. Jesus Christ. And then he came back and sat next to me and turned on his fucking light. And it was, it was first class, dude. You know me, you know me and the autistic dudes fly first. He had a spotlight on his fucking laptop for no reason. I was fuming. Fuck. And then he was screaming, dude, screaming the whole flight. Dude, I saw the ultimate fat battle on a flight not too long ago. It was a, like this lady was, questionably should have paid an extra ticket in front of this other guy who was also a, a large dude. Yes. <laughs> you witnessed the battle I had that one time. Dude, this was yes. no, this was another level. I'm pretty sure the dude was banded up to I think he had braces on. So the guy he had like arm braces and he's sitting in the back. Wait, what? At this there was a, a fucking like seriously what hefty do you mean lady. arm braces. Like wrist. He had like the rollerblade pads. Oh. So he's at least one. He had at least one wrist <laughs> He had his bowling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bowling gear. Yeah. So he said, like, you know, travel in case you're flying, you need to keep the wrist on good. <laughs> so he's sitting there, he's geared up. A lady goes to try to put her seat back and he just goes. Yo. That might have been what the braces were for. Hits her with the fucking power fists. And dude, dude. This, this lady's rocking him trying yes. to get back. Dude, he he was like the whole entire flight. It was a two and a half hour flight. He had one hand. He'd put his knee up. He would constantly switch and he'd read a book with his other hand. And she would every now and again go like this. And he would just go. And his <laughs> oh, my God. Double fist or dude, it was the best shit I've ever seen. I've, I I have engaged in this battle. Not that hard, though. <laughs> dude, I'll he fucking was, put a knee as hard as I can into the seat. He held it, dude. Occasionally. She just never to got give him back. Fucking... She never reclined. He held the wall. That's the incredible. Whole, the whole flight, dude. And he would just go reading a book. Switch hands, and then he would kind of loosen up, and it would start to come back, and he would just go, bam, <laughs> oh, dude, held it the whole time. This That's exciting a big to watch. Dog, too, That's dude. fun to watch. It, well, dude, he was right next to us. A big dog, a big female dog like that, she would not like that. Oh, dude, she was furious. They hate, they hate any inconvenience. Big she, fat. She one. probably couldn't breathe. She probably, she probably couldn't had to, breathe. She, she had to recline hunched, to breathe. Yeah, yeah, hunched forward. Yeah, dude. That's right on your diaphragm. <sighs> <laughs> and then a bro holding the line dude no chance it was so fucking perfect funny. pass protect by the way oh it was insane that's no lineman it was insane dude she never she never broke she, she never broke 90 degrees <laughs> he wouldn't give her an inch that's what like it's he about give, they did come back line of scrimmage <laughs> she was a nose guard you saw a nose tackle versus a fucking classic tackle dude. And oh. he would hit so fucking hard. Can we pause real quick? I forgot I ordered food. I'm so sorry. You ordered more food. Yeah, no, yeah, I ordered food for the homestead. But your body makes me crazy. Ugh. Yeah, All right. we're on. Sick. Hilarious. 
What are we talking about? Oh, dude, the guy holding We're the line. We talking about the flight. Yeah. Guy sorry, yeah. Line. sorry about that, by the way. Oklahoma fucking... drilled with a fat lady on a plane. That's fucking sick. Wouldn't stop. One on one. He was he was even like holding his own next the person next to him. He was like keeping airspace to the right, making sure he didn't get invaded yes. to the armrest. He was fighting on two fronts. Yeah, he's like he was on the northern. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was on the northern and the eastern front. Yes, fighting two battles simultaneously. It's crazy. While reading a book, he was fighting leg space to this way, and then being like. It was unbelievable. I mean, I respect it. I get on there and I, I that's all I think about. Some Dude, some guys pay for first class. Some guys earn it. True. Guys, True. Guys earn first, class. first class isn't given, dude. It's earned. It's earned, And dude. that guy earned it. He turned coaching to Comfort Plus, dude. <laughs> yeah, really? He's, he's like, I want just Comfort Plus? A hundred bucks? I got that. Like I'll hundred- save a hundred bucks and just <laughs> create space, dude. It's nice to do that. You got to create, create space with the Defender. Dude, so you went to you went oh, to a rave. Shout out to the EC twins, dude. Damn, EC dude. twins all day, dude. Being in the age of internet, twins are like an automatic ticket to success. Island yeah. boys, the island boys. Those other, there was those two white guys that were like twin. Those two black Republican twins. Oh shit. Yeah, those guys. If you're a twin, you went like you you're gonna crush. Oh my god. Probably gonna make at least five hundred thousand a year if you just start anything online. Like, hey, we're, we're twins. twins they were the we EC think. twins. They were talking to me because they're fans of the podcast and they were talking about how they're road dogs. Oh, they're not like world famous DJs. They get big gigs sometimes, but they're like we're similar like to comics. Like that we was got a big gig. That was a good gig. It wasn't. It was. It, it looked great in that video. Oh, okay. It was in a. It wasn't like a huge. Rate, gotcha. But they they went hard, dude. They put on a show. Yeah, and they're working to please a lot of babes. Dude. That's like that's babe paradise, dude. Just what you showed me of like, ba 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 ba. Dude, I got there. I all right, so they. I didn't know they were in town. They didn't know I was in town, but they were driving to their venue, which happened to be right around the corner. Yeah, and they were like, they're they're from Manchester, so it's hilarious. They like started. They filmed the line outside of my show, and they're like, is this for you for fucking Shane Gillis? Oh, Shane, come to our show, mate. After that, I was like, yeah, come to mine for. So they came to my show first. And uh, it was funny. I could see him in the back. Like, you know how you can't see anybody? I could see their two cowboy hats. <laughs> <laughs> and the silhouette. <laughs> I was like, that has to be the DJs. Uh, Holy fuck. But then we went over after. And the rave had already started. Sick. So I get in there. And they brought me on st- onto the DJ stand. And we're yeah. like, this is the best fucking comedian in the world, Shane Gillis. And it's just a bunch of 22-year-old girls that were like, <laughs> they, had, they had no clue who I was except one lady. So this dude, oh. one dude was there who knew who I was. So I, there's a booth, like a, you saw the picture I showed you. There's a yeah. booth right next to the DJ stand with like, that's for you. That's the VIP section. Nice. I was wearing, dude, I was wearing a classic LL bean. <laughs> hey, the bean I, was, I was wearing the bean and just, so you were raved out. I looked, I, I looked like a father. <laughs> I was just drinking Coors Lights with my arms crossed. Like what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? But uh, after they did that, this dude came up and asked for a picture. And then this black lady who clearly had no idea who I was, was like, can I get a picture? And I was like, yeah, of course. But I knew she didn't know. But she was from me to you. She Like the booth, I was sitting on the booth, mm. booth, yeah. and she was on the other side of like a rope yeah. and just faced me the rest of the night and stared at me <laughs> and was like, hey, can you... Let the DJs know it's Veterans Day. Can you have them shout out Veterans Day? Okay. And I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. She was like, I'm a veteran. And I was like, oh, nice. And she was like, I took two bullets for this. <laughs> she showed me two bullet what? wounds. And I was like, okay, <laughs> great. Yeah, I'll tell them. Did you, did you she get just stay, faced me and dancing with a guy grinding on her, just like looking at me. And she was like, I got shot twice for this country. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. What? Yeah. She was like an older lady, too. Damn. It was all. It was just one geese. Like, well, she wasn't a geese, but she was old. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't. Yeah, and uh, I she mean, she getting... was she was old enough to have gotten shot in Iraq twice. Damn, dude. So she got shot probably in like oh three. <laughs> and came back here and just put that just put that ass on. And then it's just the like, put, putting the ass on someone, letting the British DJs know today's Veterans Day. Yeah, dude. Please shout out the troops right now. Did they? I didn't. I didn't relay the message. I was like, I'm not going to interrupt the. They're like fucking doing the like. Yeah, true. I wasn't gonna be like. The crazy lady in the front wants to know, wants you guys to announce it's yeah. Veterans Day. It's also not troop vibe. Not troop vibe at all. It's, it's good t- vibes only. It's 21-year-old girls dancing. Yeah, you don't want to be like, hey, remember our fallen. True. <laughs> like, yeah, they're all in a bunch of ecstasy. Fucking Molly. But yeah, like, the babes. It's crazy. It's insane. They, they're... they uh, I mean, that's woo central, dude. It's fucking woo. Uh, literally. That's what they did in between like songs. They would go, woo. <laughs> like, yeah. It's not that's dude, that's never any Snapchats of just being like Wee. Yeah. 
it was it was uh it was actually really fun i bet and like i didn't really get hammered i just sat there and looked at people it was fun to look at people yeah, and say can i have another coors light please and just chill and just sit there in my bean Chew. dude the bean was on dude they're probably getting crushed with that though the bean it, i yeah. mean just a dude sitting next to the dj table like in the bean <laughs> beaned out on it dude <laughs> Your body is driving me crazy. Ugh. <laughs> Did you see that video? <laughs> Did you see that video? No. <laughs> but yes, hold on. I will say, you, you encapsulated the night perfectly. <laughs> I was, my body, their bodies are driving me crazy. Dude. And I was just in a bean going, ugh, dude. <laughs> dude, no, why that. What Type, is this? Typing Garden Valley football coach uh, sex with student. Dude, oh, they're reading texts. Did you Your Billy show you that? Me crazy. No, dude, he showed us. They we can't all, read texts, dude. Dude, it's they, too they're mean. reading his texts, and it, dude, it's like the first ones are like, "Man, wish you're here right now, but I probably should behave myself anyway." Yeah. All right, dude. The third one is like, "Your body is driving me crazy." And the news reporter, the news reporter is like. And uh, your body is driving me crazy. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> it's UGH. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Let me say, you have to, we'll have to fast forward to the video. But the, uh, yeah. Read dude. some of those texts. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fast fast forward all the way to, if you can, just the volume down a little. Fast forward to where they get the text, and we'll play the audio from the text. It's so funny. Man. Billy, dude, Billy put us onto it. We all went to my brother Kevin's, um, he had like a low-key bachelor party. He's getting yeah. married. Small ceremony. I was receiving texts. Did you I, was, get I couldn't believe you were awake from you. Oh, bro. I was fucked up, dude. Yeah. I got, I got, I didn't think I was that fucked up. That was a problem. You got drunk. It's like, yeah, I was drunk nice, and high. Man. I was, I was, I ate a weed gummy oh, to start Oh, you gotta drive off. tonight. That's fine. Dang. I'll be totally sober, dude. Just, I'll be dark chocolate. If I get, you know, if they have a test for dark Force chocolate. Force one of the boys to drive so you can get some booze in you. I can, dude, I can have a couple, bro. I was on Rainbow Road on Saturday. Just fine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, um, Dude, I I got a weed gummy off the bat. So I, I didn't do anything. I, got, I ate it early. And by the time we got down there, we were in like Kennett Square. It fucking, it nailed me. But on the way down, Billy was playing those clips, dude. They're so fucking funny. Oh, man. Your body is driving me crazy. Ugh. Do you remember that guy? Uh, he was a Miami Dolphins like O-line coach that got fired. Which, he was. No. He filmed a video of him like doing lines of coke, and, oh, he, said yeah. and he was like, "I wish I was doing this off your pussy." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's right before like a team meeting, hey, dude. This is. <laughs> I mean, you're already going down. Yeah, your wife. Wow, you are a very sexy young lady. In another exchange, Barbara said, "Quote: You could have been here, but it's all good. I shouldn't tempt myself anyway." He followed that up with. But your body makes me crazy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, he read that like the dude sitting next to me on the plane talked. <laughs> like that's how that guy would talk to a woman. Be like, I wish you were here, but I shouldn't tempt myself. <laughs> Ugh. Your body is driving me crazy. Dude, fried. I, I think, I don't know, I'm sure if it's this guy, I, don't, I might be getting uh, the sex offenders we we're talking about. On the way down, it was nothing but like this sex offender who did like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think that guy's wife got sick and then he was like, you know, she was like really sick and then he started having an affair with a young lady. While it his was wife one was the, sick? And then came out kind of like What are we talking, I'm like stressed. the flu? No, I'm <laughs> like talking she was like, up laying in bed? Like. I'm talking like blanket and bald head sick. Yeah. Again, I could be thinking of another sex offender. I don't want to smite the guy's re reputation. We talked about yes. a lot of sex offenders on the way down to Kenneth Square. So could I could be, be getting them mixed offender. up. Yeah, I don't want to smite the guy's reputation. So you're telling me there was a guy whose wife was dying of cancer, and yeah. so he fucked a high school chick? Yeah. And then when he got busted. Legend. <laughs> Legend. Came out and was like, I'm under a lot of stress. Fair. <laughs> he was under a lot of stress, dude. There was also another guy. I'll be were, honest. This is not going to sound good. Sure. But if They're you're under a it. lot of stress. <laughs> if you're under a lot of stress. And there's... <laughs> I'll be honest, probably the ultimate stress reliever. <laughs> he was a gym teacher, too. Gym teachers are dangerous. They'll get you. That's the fucking, that's the underage combine, dude. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> Standing there watching him play volleyball. Like, Four pull-ups. Oh, oh, my God. Her body Fuck, she has no muscles at all. Her body's oh. driving. She's, there's nothing she can do to stop me. <laughs> oh, she's veal, dude. 15 minute mile. Oh my That's God. That's a veal parmesan. <laughs> Damn, dude. I got to shave my nose hairs. They itch. 
You ever get that? I shave my nose. I trim oh, my you nose shave hairs, them. Yeah, yeah. But it's been a while, no, so now they're all just them. prickly. <sighs> so I got prickly nose hairs, dude. Shit. I haven't shaved my nose. It's driving me crazy. Ugh. I meant to shave my nose for my own wedding. <laughs> you oh. shave it? Yeah, you have to shave I your didn't, nose. dude. I, I was like, you I never found the longest it? one and popped it. And then it was just like, I'm good. I, I COVID affected me in, in that sense because I used to just rip them out. Yeah. But then you'd sneeze. No, I'd rip them out pretty constantly. I have wild nose hairs, dude. I, I'm getting them. I'm starting to look like a Scottish terrier, dude. Yeah, we, are. <laughs> we are. You really are. You got the hair for a Scottish. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. But, dude, the... um. We went down to Kennet Square, and I, I did. I thought I was fine. I had the weed gummy was rocking, so I was drinking, and I didn't feel drunk at all. So I was, you know, I was, you know, I was trying to brag about the ABV and my sighties. My cousin fucking laughed in my face. I was like, "These are six point five. He was like, "What the fuck?" Sort of laughing. Really? At me. Yeah. And I was he like, "Thought it was a game." I thought it was a game, dude. And then they caught up to me, man. Actually, he fell asleep. Of course so they jokes up on him, him, dude. He fell yeah. asleep. But the uh, dude, he our squad was so fucked up. I saw your. You my, showed me. I a showed photo you pictures. Of Hoss was absolutely his face smashed. <laughs> Hoss turned into a pug. Mother <laughs> cousin fell asleep, dude. It was we were a hurt squad. But the place we were at, this is the highlight of the night. The place we were at, instead of having hostesses, had hosts. They had hot oh, yeah. young boys. Hot and I, I went at one point, I guess this is how I knew I was drunk. I went to the bar and I was like, yo, you know there's usually like hot chicks doing your job. Why am I looking at like young hot kids? Dude, you know it, what? Here's when I knew you boys were hammered. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. What did he say? What did the I was just like, there's supposed to be hot say? chicks here. And I'm like, it's just dudes. He's like, hot young dudes. I'm like, you guys are you guys are fucking hot young dudes. And the guy was just like, kind of got taken aback. And I was just oh, like, Oh, yeah, he definitely thought you were trying to fuck. I think then he I thought your body his body was driving you crazy. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> you and should then, just walk up to him and be like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is I thought we were having a laugh, and I'm like, fuck, this is probably weird as hell. I have like gray hair, and I'm like, bro, you boys are hot as hell. Bro, <laughs> I'm all drunk. I do this, dude. I do that every weekend. I'm like, this will be a funny gag. <laughs> I, I did it at the Rolling Stones concert. I was going out to people like, I fucking spent all my money on this, dude. These guys are old as fuck. <laughs> no one told me about this. I was like, this is a fun gag I'm doing with these ladies. <laughs> dude, I, I don't know if I made it weird or if he was laughing. I'm like, damn, this guy definitely thinks that I want to fuck all of the Absolutely. hosts. And then I went back to the table. And we were, I was trying to get people fired up. I think Tom was like, we should start being like, yo, this is the bachelor party. What's up, boys? And start putting the pressure on them. To try to have the boys like, What are you guys doing after this? Yeah, like put a full court press on these boys. It's sick to just bring the boys home to hang out. Just chill. It's nice to have young boys around. Yeah, just like a big brother, little brother thing. But yeah, just yeah. chill. Like add to the vibe. Slumber party. What are the kids doing? Yeah, what are the kids doing? I knew you guys were fucked up because you texted me. The Dude. Irish are putting on a show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> About 10 minutes later, Billy texted me in all caps, go Irish. <laughs> Billy wasn't drunk. Billy was sober? Sober. Billy no, was dude, sober. You guys just must have been at a bar that the Irish were on. They were. It was on nice. a humongous screen nice. right above my head. Nice. I was sitting there like, who is that? Shane's place? happy. <laughs> dude. Yeah, that was fun, though. It was fun. We, uh, it was a good old time. We all went outside. And this girl- is, uh, I texted Billy. I said, let's go. Also, destroy Haas. And he said, I asked him if he was born in 1962. <laughs> and then he said, he thinks he can rep 135 to 100 faster than I could. Yeah, that's that's a challenge. Neither of them can rep one thirty five a hundred. They were they were claiming they're going to put it down. Hoss can't rep one hundred thirty five a hundred. He begs it. Hoss begs it different. Ah. I said it. If I said bench. He yeah. was saying like fifteen minutes or something crazy. I I don't want to. Oh, so they have time him. to rest. I see. Whoever has time to do it. Even dude, that's crazy though. Yeah, that's ten sets of a hundred. Ten sets of ten. A forty five. That's not bad if you lift. True. If you lift, you could do that. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, that's what I can I mean, three I sets of <laughs> help. <laughs> the trick is you get you put the twenty fives on, but from the deadlift thing, so you get the big twenty fives. Then you so stack those looks up. Looks like you're repping. Yeah, you're fucking yeah, combine, dude. But yeah, that was fun, man. I got I ended up thought I wasn't drunk. Towards the end of the night, I was uh, I was pretty loose lipped, dude. I was fu- I was just you're letting it go. You're having yeah, fun, dude. I was fucked up. Where's that? Guy? I need that guy in my life. Oh man, it snuck up. I, like I just paid it. for it for two days, dude. I was just, I had to go to Sky Zone you the next will day. Do that. I was at Sky you Zone. Went to Sky Zone the next day, yeah. Like the surf, indoor the, trampoline park. Why? Oh, I didn't because we brought Maya. Oh, we had made plans and everything, dude. Oh, you went to a bachelor party and you're like, all right, we're going to Sky Zone. I went. Oh, indoor skydiving, just two inches from the yeah. ground, like. <laughs> 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 that was so disappointing when I did that. Yeah. Indoor skydiving, you just hover an inch off the ground with VR on. Dude, I'm too top heavy. I would fucking just spin. <laughs> Dude, I barely caught air. I barely caught fucking air. I was so pissed. I, the guy said, I I think I'm just dense, honestly. But, you know, 
but dude, it was, I had a good time. I got, I got crunked. I was like, I'll be good by the time I drive home. Got back to the house. And I got oh, all you the drove home that night. I got, well, I was, I waited a while because we were in yeah. Kennett. So I stopped and then I got back to the parents' house, but I was so drunk. Not so drunk. I, I, when I realized, <laughs> <laughs> when I realized how much alcohol was in my system that I was probably like right on the edge of 0.08, I was like, I'm going to smoke a ton of weed to counteract this hangover. Sure. So I, I <laughs> dude, I like pigged out on an entire cone, like a big old cone. Nice. And then I do, when I was driving home, it was just like. Oh, before you drove. <laughs> it was, this was like, it was like an hour before. Yeah. So I did that towards the end of the night. We got bust back. I got, my cousin drove me back and uh, I got in the car and I was like, I'm good to go. And dude, I was just like, I got home and dude, Bay came down. It was this, I haven't done this in a while. She came down and she was like what are you doing? And I was like, and dude, I was standing in the kitchen. I was standing in the middle of the kitchen with my phone. So it looked bad. Yeah. And I just turned around. I was like, oh, I'm researching how to make ambient music. And she, uh, <laughs> I'd been looking up 432 Hertz like this. Now, you know, you know about 440, right? No, dude, you're being fucking poisoned, bro. What's the that? Nazis? I don't know who it is. The, the head Nazi in charge, maybe Goebbels. <laughs> he was apparently, according to YouTube, uh, you know, I have to check this out. I don't want to spread this info. He you, changed. Don't to, you don't want to tarnish the Goebbels' name. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to spread this information here. Yeah, he's got enough to worry about. I don't want to yeah. crush him fully. But he, I mean, dude, this info, you know, this info is a heavy charge these days. So <laughs> they um they were saying he changed the standard tuning to 440, which is like it's bad for you. It fucks you up. 432 though. Oh, what are these numbers? They're, the, they're like the frequencies of the music they emit. Oh, okay. So it's like if you were to put like uh, sand on a paper. And hit it with 432 hertz, it'll make a cool pattern. 440 will probably just make skull and cross. I don't know what it does. Skull like, and cross moves. It's fucking, it's bad. And they switched it, but you should be listening to music in 432. It's a healing frequency. So okay. I was downstairs <laughs> looking up how okay. to make ambient music. Yes. And I'm sitting there like with headphones holding my phone. I was like heating up. I have like these like gluten free hot pocket type things. So I, heat up, I have two going. You're heating up gluten free hot pockets. I have two in the other. Trying oven. to figure out the I'm, evil frequencies. Yeah, and I was sitting there just like, she's like, you're <laughs> fucked up. I was like, no, I'm not. No, like, I'm looking up how to make it. I was like, by the way, I'm buying a keyboard. Uh, but I was like, looking up <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's like, you're fucked up. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm, I've just, never seen anyone more fucked up in uh, my life, dude. I'm standing. I was even, dude. If you were just standing in the kitchen in the dark, microwaving hot pockets, I'd be like, this guy's blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's blacked out. If you toss it, by the way, honey, I'm buying a keyboard. I'd be like, all right. He's in outer space, dude. It was it was wicked, man. She's like, you. How many drinks do you have? I was like, there's like three three drinks. Four, I don't know. That, many, I started yeah, hit it with the ABV. You hit it with I was the like, Phil, you hit it with the Phil Gillis, man. <laughs> yeah, fucking two drinks. What the hell? <laughs> I know. You did. I watched you have six. <laughs> what are you a fucking woman? Shut up. <laughs> I was fully being like. It was the uh, down east holiday. I was like, they had like cinnamon and nutmeg. I was like, it was like it six was point. Nice. It was like six point <laughs> four. <laughs> I was like, then I, they uh, had local wine. I wanted to try the wine. It was Honey, local. It was local wine. I was like, it was right from around the corner. It was Dude, good. You I go to it. I go with Phil to the bar, his bar. Oh. And it's always nice. It's always a nice time. It's a nice bonding. Me and Phil don't hang out oh, like yeah. that. But then as soon as we get home, my mom's always like, How did you get home? Did you drive? And he's like, uh, I had two beers. And I'm like, nah, Dad, I saw you have six. He's like, God damn it, shut up. You're like a woman. Dude. That's what he always hits me with. Yeah, I was turned, bro. I was turned and I stayed up till two in the morning just researching 528. It's also a Hell fantastic yeah. frequency. 432, 440. I got oh, hammered. Stay I got, clear. I got hammered three times this weekend. Nice. <laughs> All three days. <laughs> in, in Thursday, Dega, Friday, in Dega? Saturday. Yeah, in San Diego. It's tough. That's nice weather. And every night I watched episodes of Narcos when I got back. <laughs> I've watched the same three episodes of Narcos. I don't remember one thing. I just keep rewatching this. <laughs> all I go, Chapito. It's all about Chapo, dude. Chapito. That's the best show to be watching. Blacked out. Blacked out, trying to read Spanish. <laughs> and I just look at my phone and just Spanish is just playing. I'm like, fuck, what happened? You just look up at some guy's head cut off and you're just like, oh. Whoa. Fuck. Chapito. <laughs> Chapito. That's sick. So you got turned up this weekend as well. I did. It went EC Twins, DJ party. True, that's tough. Although I wasn't that hammered for that one. Yeah. But then Friday, went out with the fucking bros, dude. True. Three Filipino lads. No, that was Friday night. Friday night, there were three, what I assumed were lads in yeah. the front row. Yeah. And I was like, I was just watching Narcos, dude. Shout out to you guys. Take it easy. Why don't you guys slow down a little? And they were like, we're Asian. And I was like, 
<laughs> Filipinos? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, all right, same thing. Yeah, it's lads. You guys it's are lads, lads of the East, bro. They are the, the Eastern lads. For sure. Elite, dude. Great, bro. And they dude. dress like lads. In California, if you're a Filipino, you dress like a lad. Yeah. And they were the best, dude. Went out dancing. What? Me and the lads went out to a bar and went dancing. Me and three dudes. What? Three Filipino lads danced. What kind of, what kind of music are you guys talking? Spice Girls, stuff like that. That's fun. Classic. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. Damn, dude. There's yeah. a bar in San Diego that's like indoor trailer park. It's like in a basement. There's like trailers. What? It's designed like a trailer park. They ap- appropriated white trash culture. That's fair. And I was pissed. That's fair. I got in there and I said, I'm pissed. <laughs> 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 and then, yeah, we were saying like Bon Jovi and Jimmy, like, oh, we're halfway. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and they were all, you know, they're yeah. Filipinos, so they're short, short guys. Probably by stocky as hell. One of them was stocky as hell. Yeah, they get jacked. Two bro. of them were stocky. They dwarf, they dwarf Max hard as they hell. They do. They dwarf Max. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sat, I mean Saturday, dude, I was just chilling with the teams. Not a big deal. True. Dude. Yo, shout out to the teams, dude. You know who you so are. So it's Thursday, really Friday, deal. Saturday. Yeah. Party, party, party. Yeah. So, but damn. Saturday, so- I left the cool party, and me, not saying, not saying any names, not saying any names. Maybe some team members went to an open mic. For that sure. It was at like one a.m. That's what's up. It was sick. That's what's up. Yeah, they were pumped. Did you hit a spot? I did do a spot. Late night. Not a good spot. <laughs> so, I mean, it also, too, it's crazy because it's like you partied pretty hard those two days, but you dug down deep inside to party with the team. I had to. Not team. everyone has the speed. A lot of people would be like, guys, I'm sorry, but you were like. Everybody would be like, I'm sorry to the teams. Yeah, we but, can't hang out tonight. I was singing Bon Jovi last night until two in the With morning. the Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I had to. I had to dig deep for the team. Yeah. That's. Few could do that, dude. Not a lot, not a lot of guys could do that. Day three three straight days dude i was like again i got done i had like i'm actually i was so sad that tonight we have to go we have to go sing again you said so i was like the only way i'm gonna do this is if i'm drinking Getting hammered, i'm definitely yeah. drinking tonight you should be sober you should be sober and stiff dude. If, I, if i were sober for this show tonight it would be horrendous especially because so funny so me and matt are gonna sing dragula yeah at the comedy cellar it's a thing now dude it's pretty much a cool thing we do but uh <laughs> i think this one's gonna be a lot different than Skankfest. Oh, Skankfest yeah. with the bros were pumped. This is going to be a New York City, Manhattan crowd of like cool people. True. And they're going to see you and me singing Dragula, not knowing the lyrics. Yeah. Both in sweatpants, effectively. I can wear sweatpants. Uh, I have jeans should, in my bag. No, you should wear this. <laughs> I mean, they are thermal. This is a stunt, dude. You've <laughs> never been on stage at the cellar the first time, <laughs> full sweatsuit. This is a stunt. True. <laughs> <laughs> I might rock the beam. You should rock the beam. <laughs> I will rock the little beam for this. Dude. I will rock the wrinkled beam. I definitely crumbled Dude, it up into my suitcase. <laughs> the beam. It's I'll rock a wrinkled beam to the show. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a. Uh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun for just a group of like six hot chicks to be like, when is it? Be like, Dead eye. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that's hilarious. But yeah, shout out to the Filipino bros. They ruled. Shout out to the teams, not a big deal. The teams, yeah, dude. Yeah, the teams. You know Special, who you are, dude. Yeah. Not a big deal. If you don't know who it is, don't worry about. Although it. Although they, I'll Classified. say this: mad props to Jocko. Really? They all thoroughly respect Jocko. Yeah, dude, he's a team. I thought, I thought he was a, I thought he would be considered a joke. It's like how all the chefs hate Guy Fieri. Yeah, so they love him. They well, they're, all, they're fucking brothers, dude. Yeah, but sometimes they hate like. Uh, the teams hate the showboats. True. They really don't like that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Not that Jocko's a showboat. He just goes out and is like, you better fucking work out. Yeah. <laughs> he just Wake gives, up. He gives speeches. He does, He was dude. performing at the theater in town while what? I was there. Jocko was in San Diego as what well. What was he doing? Getting people Giving hype? a speech about, you better fucking do push-ups. What time's the show? 7 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and they were like, dude, I hope we don't run into Jocko. I was like, how sick would it be if we found Jocko? They'd be like, dude, we'd all we'd hang our heads. What? He'd be like, "Why don't you have your head shaved, motherfucker?" Like he'd be. Oh yeah, he keeps a, he turns he keeps on. Dude. He has an energy drink now. I think. Really? He was promote. I think he was promoting an energy I drink. Feel like they should. I should hate him. Who? Jocko should be an enemy of mine, but I respect the hell out of him. You have to, bro. You got orders. A uh, true. You got orders from the team, dude. You can't get stepped out of line. <laughs> Once I found out they respected him, I was like, "True, Jocko is a man." Now that you guys mention it, everything yeah, you guys said. That's so pretty cool. much what I said, honestly. Yeah, I was like, I didn't, you know. Definitely talk shit on this guy. You should for be like, dude, the Rock's a up. pussy, though, dude. The Rock is a pussy. What do you think the team would I say? I didn't bring that up. The team would agree. For sure. Actually, they probably like the Rock. <laughs> the team likes all that shit. <laughs> dude, the teams? Dude, they love that. Uh, they get up early. It's probably be nice, though, to have someone else up early as hell with you. I don't know. I don't know if they get up early like that. You think the teams, when they're. 
I think the team's probably slept in after Saturday. <laughs> they, 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 the teams they, they get snooze. fucked up, bro. Yeah. I know someone who went to a wedding with firefighters and firefighters apparently what, a lot, firefighters. They're not the team. <laughs> a little different than the teams. They're not the teams. They're not the teams. But I heard firefighters. Firefighters yeah. are basically the teams. And they apparently a lot of them party on mushrooms. The firefighters? Yeah, dude. Holy because shit. it's like, what, if, what if the siren goes they off? Can't smoke dude? dude, that's they'd be berserkers. Just spray it. They'd be berserkers. They can't really drink like that. Yeah. Because yeah, they're on call. So yeah. I was on mushrooms staring into a flame. What? It's at the at your bachelor party. Right. It was hell. Yeah, dude. I guess they can't probably even imagine. They probably just munch like little bits here and there. Having to rush party. into that thing, <laughs> right into the blaze. I might let it consume me. Yeah, I you might just stand like, there and be like, "This is gonna feel good." As soon as it starts, like, oh, fuck. Ah, build a temple on these. What grounds. have I done? Ugh. One thing I was there was a, uh, I was staying in a cool hotel hmm. and they had a cool uh, pool, a roof deck pool that yeah. my hotel room could open up into like it was a sick room nice but there was a party for zillow the, the real estate company what? they blocked it off on saturday the pool pissed i wanted to swim could you stand and watch their I party though swam yeah you could have stood, I could you sat there and watched. I did. I stood. I sat over, lifted my head over my fence. <laughs> what the hell's going on? But I was thinking about how fun it would be to go in there and die in the middle of a Zillow party. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Puke and don't fall in the pool. <laughs> She'd be like, Redfin rules. <laughs> yeah. Dying at somebody else's party is sick. Hell yeah. So it's like a company party? Just a company party. But they were in like suits, showing up in yeah tracksuit, dying in the pool. In yeah, they're like a real estate. They, they swear they're taking over. They were when I saw them. Dude, I want to become a corporate comedian. And my gag will be I'll fake a heart attack on stage at corporate functions. <laughs> that's a good gag. And then the cops who come get me are just male strippers and they pop their pants Whoa. off. Whoa. And I'm like, that's my time. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, you've I've been... just been fucked by me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come up with a cool phrase like that. <laughs> True. I just fucked you guys in the you ass. Guys just got your, you guys got fucked by me. <laughs> just dumb pussies. You've been fucked. Just hand out business cards afterwards. <laughs> nice. The foot, the foot is bad. <laughs> this time it's got to fly. This time it's got to fly circling it. <laughs> Damn, dude. That hippie foot. Yeah, it is. Uh, dude. But yeah, I, uh, but yeah, man. That's uh, The weekend was fucking sick, man. I, I did that. I, I got on to the 432. I, uh, I, last night I played a 528 dude, melody. Is that scratch from your child? Yeah, dude. My kid fucking... Yeah. I wasn't sure if you might have fallen during the 4.30 too. No, no, no. I wonder no. if the frequency got to you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, she fucking clawed my face and pinched me. Mm. Scratch the shit out of me. Yeah. Yeah, she's addicted to TV right now. Sick. If I turn TV off, dude, I have to hold her at arm's length for like... Watch, she'll try to fight. She'll try to... She'll go for a slap. I got to watch that. And then she'll try to... Gra she'll grab my face. If she gets in on me and squeeze as hard as she can. And yeah. she has nails, dude. It just Little me. kids love the squeeze. Dude, they the squeeze your fucking... Squeeze, oh, dude. it sucks, dude. My nephew does that shit. It's dude, so funny. When I gotta go mad like this. at you. Yeah. And they just grab your face and go, yeah. <laughs> so I gotta hold her out at arm's length, let her get all of her smacks and stuff out, and be like, come up with a cool activity. And she's like, oh, hell yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, I was fighting you. Yeah, sorry, I tried to fucking. Sorry, I just tried to kill you <laughs> with all of my might. <laughs> I <know. laughs> if I could have ripped your face off, I, I would have. I know, dude. <laughs> would have fully killed me. No remorse either. I'm like, you gonna get a timeout? Yeah. I'm like, somebody has to have had like a jacked two year old. I, I mean, technically, there was the strongest two-year-old. Ew. I don't know. One of them was. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And somebody dude. was getting fucked up. Dude, they're strong. They're pretty strong for their body weight. Yeah, but think of having the biggest, strongest one. And then they get you turn off the cartoon and they squeeze you. They could get you. You get in, like, fights with the kid. Oh, for sure, dude. They'll <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> fuck off. You're like a little pit bull. Like yeah. a little fucking... Find strong kid. Yeah, find strongest toddler. Dude. Like, this little kid fucking you up. What the fuck is that kid? <laughs> <laughs> He's ripped. I don't kid, like that check kid. Check it out for the viewers at home. Yeah, it's it's a ripped. It looks like a five year old version of the Russian from Rocky. Yeah, it's fucking ripped. Yeah, that would suck, dude. I mean, your kid Dragito. could definitely fuck you up. Yeah. One day, you everyone has to deal with that. No, nah, not if you have a girl. True. I did. did. You see that clip I sent you? The lady gets the dude gets fucked up by his mom. <laughs> oh, that was his mom. I think so. Unless that was his bae. I didn't know who that was. Dude, that reverse was nasty. Yeah. She got, he has, he, what he, he said? He's like, let me go, man. Come on, man. Let me, let go, me go. go. Chill. He like, was go trying chill. to fight a woman. Trying to fight. He's like, come on, man. He's like, I'm going to sit down. She's Yo, like, quit playing. no, you're not. He's like, I'm going to sit down. She's I'm, like, yeah. hey, let me see you sit down. Yeah. And she just bulldogs him on the ground. Dude. And <laughs> right he, away while he's getting held down. As soon as he starts losing, he's just going, come on, man. Let me go. Come on, man. Let come me on, man. go. Dude, that must suck getting your ass kicked like that. 
get, in that get room. Losing in like a battle, like an argument like a battle. Box fan on the ground. Yeah. You get tossed to the floor and you got to say, let me go, please. Yeah, dude. Like, come on, dude. Let me go. Losing a fight and screaming, let me go is pretty great. <laughs> to your girlfriend, whoever that was. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was either girlfriend? mom. That's, I don't know what's the worst case scenario, your girlfriend, older sister, or mom. I've been on the receiving end of older sister, and you do scream, let me go. <laughs> I've screamed, let me go. <laughs> Yo, seriously, I'm about to fucking freak let out and punch go. you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to fucking freak. I'll, I'll fuck you up so bad. Yeah. I Please could let be me winning go. this. Yeah, let me go. Please release me. Yeah, that would stink, dude. But yeah, that uh, that's all. That's That was my whole weekend, bro. Fucking getting crunk at, Kennet, at the Kennet Creamery. That's awesome. Botching a joke with hot young boys. That's awesome. That was pretty sick. Coming home, learning about 432, chilling, double hot pockets was a bold move, dude. I've been there, dude. I felt I've been fucking... on the I've been on the road. Hotels. Occasionally they have some hot pockets down there. You're double. Like, Damn, a nice ham and cheese to cap off a good night. <laughs> <laughs> I won't regret this. I did a 20, dude. It was like 140, and I was like, I'll do a 20 minute oven oven hot pocket it. You're crazy. I ovened it, dude. See, usually if I'm munching Hot Pockets, I'm desperate. That dude. And I have no time for a conventional oven. This was my, in my lifetime, I'd probably bought in at least eight packs of these. This is my first pack that I had the discipline oven. to oven them. And it's worth the wait. I it's believe you. It's fucking worth the wait. Yeah, microwaved, obviously. Obviously, this has been covered by the great Gaffigan. What? But it is either like freezing cold or yeah. lava hot. Dude. He, nailed, he nailed it. Yeah, it fucks you. Nobody can touch Hot Pockets ever again. Nah, man. On on stage. It's gone. It's been done. It's gone. By the God, dude. Absolutely. Who was that guy? Didn't he get up in someone's ass one time? Yeah. Dude, too funny. That must suck when you think you're coming at the gaff, dude. And you're like, fucking Christ. Uh, was it Neil Brennan? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He ethered him. Dude, there's been some Twitter ethers lately. We don't need to get into it. True. Yeah, dude. There was a- Every once in a while, somebody will make fun of a comic, and then it ends up- yeah. <laughs> like, you think like oh this is a guy i can clown this will yeah. be easy also, and dude, like, oh. doesn't gaffigan have like five kids yeah oh dude he's in a dude, state of like low, he's, he's in a state of just quiet rage all day yeah probably having these arguments all day in his head and as soon as he saw it it was just like you're dead oh yeah <laughs> you know Brennan, this is what i would say about you <laughs> boom you just rage all day uh no we don't need to read it you don't want to hash on neil's a nice character it is funny to get crushed, to come at people and just get fucking annihilated. It blows, dude. On Twitter, trying to talk shit on someone, you get yeah, fucking... Dude, it stinks. Although, dude, they fucking came at Rogies on SNL. They did come at St. Rogies. Bro. And, and, yeah. and one of the best quarterbacks in the league, bro. Who? Fucking Rodgers, bro. Oh, yeah, they did come at Rodgers. They came at both of them, man. Anybody, yeah, they did go at Rodgers. Yeah, dude. They came at, if, if you're against the vaccine, SNL is going to get you. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Did you see the actual Saturday Night Live thing? or the uh, No, the uh, Sesame Street thing they were yes. making fun of? It's pretty creepy. Creepy stuff? It was weird. Creepy stuff? Yeah, dude. I saw I saw they came at Rogies, dude, and I was just like... <sighs> yeah. It's not nice. Just don't go at the Rogues, dude. Why are they getting them, dude? The Rogues, dude. Well, that's because of CNN. Him and CNN are beefing. SNL is a subsidiary of SNL. Yeah, of and CNN. Dude, they've spent. I'm surprised Stelter's not hosting. True. Stelter should host. I mean, dude, Big Pharma spends, I think, $50 billion a year on advertising. Whoa. It's a lot of money, bro. <laughs> so if they start. It's so much money. It's crazy. Do $50 billion? Yeah, I wonder what they could do for mental health with that type of money. Cancer. Oh, can't, yeah, they could cure probably things. Yeah, they could do some good stuff, probably. 50 bill? 50 bill, apparently. I, I, you know, double check the numbs, but it's in the billions Yo, of dollars. They somebody spend. needs to figure out how to fix these bums. San Diego um, yeah. is destroyed, dude. I was saying before, dude, they should just replace all the heroin needles with the vaccine needles. Give them the needles, and then it's like, at least they're safe. Uh, fuck. You know what I'm saying? This comedian I was with, she had a good idea. What? We were talking about it. Because we were, we were talking about eradicating the bums. Yeah. And how we should go about it. And she was like, Molly capsules with fentanyl time release at the end. Nice. Just let them have a good fucking chill sesh and then slowly fade to nothing. It's not a bad idea. So that, that was her... That was her, that <laughs> that was was her, her plan. <laughs> we were talking about pills. how to kill all the bums. How, yeah. Which is not what you should do. Obviously, don't kill any Of course, bum. yeah. Don't even well, call them bums, dude. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> no, I mean, it's a big... Well, it's one of those problems. They're never going to figure it out. 
Because you, dude, in Kensington, these are shattered people. Yeah, a lot of them. Dude, in Kensington, remember they put out the sinks? They put out outdoor sinks in Kensington because they were shitting on the on the street. Yeah, and there people were having like Hep B or Hep C or whatever it was. Yeah, spreading hepatitis. And they put up sink like, come on, guys. They put like they just don't have anywhere to wash their hands. And literally, like within two days, they were just like, Bleh, and pushed it over. <laughs> <laughs> just push it. They just destroy shit. Yeah, what do you do? I think we got to send them down Mexico's way. You think Mexico send way? Send them to Chapito. Send them to the Narcos. Like White Walkers, dude. Yeah. yeah. Just send, just them down there. send them. Yeah. That should be fair, dude. That would be fair. Like, let's us. do an exchange. Like, yeah, we'll take those. Yeah. Send us master degrees and we'll send you the bros. Dude. We'll send you the ultimate bros, dude. The guys trying to party. <laughs> dude. Tijuana, dude? I was joking about it in San Diego. They're, they're bums there can run. What? They have running bums, dude. They're like, we have opioid bums. True. They have fucking meth, meth yeah, sprinting bums. Fuck, man. That will, they get you. They get people. Yeah. I saw a bum get a guy. What? I was out eating a sandwich. <laughs> and the a guy, a guy was carrying his groceries, walking by, and this bum was like, spit right in his face and was like, faggot, and started like trying to chase him. What? It's terrifying. The bums get you down there. Yeah, meth, meth head bums are terrifying, dude. West Coast. Even like a crackhead's pretty friendly. You get a nice yeah. friendly crackhead manning the front door of a 7 Eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a gentleman, dude. That is a gentleman. <laughs> it's an absolute gentleman. Or just a sleepy opioid bum. Exactly. You step over the bum. And yeah, he's sleepy. For sure. And he's actually having a nice time. Yeah, that's a nice one. You run into you go down out west, meth bums. Fuck. It is twenty eight days later. Like they'll be standing there, like <laughs> <laughs> if they lock on to someone, they're like <laughs> <laughs> and they start sprinting, dude. They run. Oh my god. And and if you run, they're like they're, they're dogs. Dude. Oh, if, if you yeah. start running, they <laughs> they all chase. <laughs> you gotta you gotta just stand still and be like, I hope he doesn't get me. Oh my god. You can't look him in the eyes. All day, they're just walking around like, fuck you, motherfucker. You mother. They're yelling at somebody oh. down the block for nothing. They're agitated. They're fired up. Fuck. I think if you were to start reciting Bible lines, they'd be like, fuck. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meth they bums. They do that. The meth bums do that. Dude, they, they literally, like, you know how in, like, doorways in mm. on the city. Yeah. So you can't see them. They're in the doorway like, <laughs> <laughs> oh and then you walk by and you're like oh shit oh, oh shit fuck. and if you, you like look accidentally and they're, like, <laughs> they're fucking wild this guy dude. might bite me he's gonna bite me oh my god and it, it's not even a question of if it's when they are gonna bite somebody oh my god. if you live in san diego a bum will eventually attack you what a hundred percent what the fuck they're down there dude can you keep like weapons like clubs on you yeah you probably have to dude that's fuck you probably have to fuck a bum up Dude, I, my brother's friend beat the shit out of a bum with a bottle of Gatorade one time. <laughs> like a mace? Like in the bag? He just, he had, a, he had like a blue frost. No, no, he took it out the thing. They started wrestling. He grabbed, he had like a 32 ounce blue frost and it started fucking bashing him, crunching him in the head with it. I think the bum started the, or excuse me. I think the, uh, the housing, disadvantaged, housing man disadvantaged man started a fight with him and then this dude finished it. Didn't Butterly fucking armbar a bum? I believe so. I believe, <laughs> I believe he's, yeah, I believe he had a, uh, he put a bum in an armbar. <laughs> Yeah, I think he had to fucking protect himself. At that point, you had the bums; they don't tap. That's back when guys could protect themselves. Dude. That's when back, yeah, back when you could do cool wrestling moves to bums on the street. <laughs> dude, remember bum fights? Yeah, that was a big one, man. Between that was. That- I, I remember even as a young man being like, "That's really fucked up." Yeah, I, I remember. I, I, I'll be honest. As I've gotten older, I've grown into the idea of it, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, do it." I mean, dude, we could have a UFC round where it's hell in a cell, and you put like forty of them in there. Fucking. Dude, if we did, it would be interesting to see what the opioid boys could do against the the meth, the meth bums. They're obviously the heavy favorite, but you never know. Ah, yeah, the opioid boys, the opioid could, boys sit back. could wake up and start getting fired up. Dude, I wonder if you can, if you even can rage on heroin. Probably opiates do make you angry if you take too really? many. You can get really oh, angry. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> if you gave them some <laughs> makes uh, sense. Which yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you gave them. Fuck what Narcan? If you hit him with Narcan right before the fight, dude, that would be their pissed. That could bro. be their secret they're power. They're pissed, though. bro. So the Meth Boys would be dominating, but they that's their Mad Max. Opioid Boys could keep Narcaning back awake, <laughs> <laughs> and tiring out the fucking Meth Boys. Yeah, that's that's their Mad Max thing. They go <laughs> they spray it and just go fucking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they man. get pissed off, dude, because it just all the heroin leaves their body and they enter into like I think withdrawal or something. I don't know what happens, but they're not having fun at all, and they're not feeling much pain. That's the other thing. True. 
Both of them would never feel say, pain. The dude, meth boys do not feel pain. Yeah, what about dust heads? I don't even know what those guys do. PCP? Fire them they're, they're the guys who they, like... Don't they have like a 15 minute window though? Or is that all day? Got, they got a minute, bro. They got, I think, I think they're smoke, the most unstoppable. I mean, that's all they need is 12. All they need is three rounds. They're unstoppable. They're the guys who like throw cops in the air off the bat. <laughs> yeah, they did. They like lift cars up and shit. Sometimes like jump out of third story buildings or whatever. <laughs> Just sprint. Keep sprinting. <laughs> Dust heads, meth heads. And, uh, dude, I, I don't know. That's a tough toss up. Because, dude, I'm telling you, like a sleepy. Could toss just the hard drunks in, too. Oh, The hard fuck. drunks are vicious. Just haymakers? <laughs> yeah. They fall, though. <laughs> they fall constantly. Those are some good videos. That Watching be... just abs- the drunkest dudes oh, ever getting fist fights. It's the best. Neither of them connect on one thing. They both swing and fall. It's so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, that would be. God, that'd be the meth. I, I'm staking. Well, if PCP boys are different than the meth guys, I'm taking the PCPs. Yeah, man. But the meth, from what I've witnessed, I've witnessed the power, dude. I've seen they sprint. Yeah, dude. These dudes are barefoot sprinting around all day. It's crazy. <sighs> we need those fucking police robot dogs to take on the, <laughs> the meth bombs, dude. And that'll be a fight. That's robots a good move. versus meth bombs. That's a good move. If we stick the bots on them, that would do. Just the wedge. Just <laughs> the wedge. <laughs> Flipping the oh, boys. Just popping up a scabbed barefoot <laughs> off the ground. And I, I, dude, I walked. There was one oh, laying. Fuck. There was a guy laying on my way to get the sandwich. There's bums everywhere. I was walking there. There was a dude just laying on the street with a foot that's more mangled than anything I've ever seen. Fuck. From the uh, fucking knee down was just like Sad. leprosy. Leprosy. Ugh. And I was, I was just thinking how funny it is to like let your like his leg got so out of control. Oh. Like if you saw a cut like that big that was that fucked up, yeah. you'd be like, I need to seek medical assistance. Yeah. That guy saw that cut was like, I'm gonna let it ride. <laughs> and then his whole leg, and he was like, Ah, fuck. Oh. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and everyone just recoils anytime. And everybody has to walk like, by you. Like, ah. There was yeah, a homeless lady that crapped at uh, JFK yesterday when I was waiting for my bag. What? There's another thing. I had right to wait, outside? I had to wait. No, in the fucking baggage terminal. There's some clever ones. You get high on heroin, you just find a piece of luggage, you get to sit there and wait. True. And nobody's going to, thankfully, nobody ratted her out because yeah. she was tired. Where was the crap? Must have been in her slacks. Oh, okay. That's, because the whole baggage, nice it just stunk, dude. <laughs> and yeah, you know the smell. It's human shit. I thought she crapped on the belt. That'd be so funny. That'd be fun. a power move. <laughs> he just spun around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she shit her pants. Yeah, she probably had a dump in there. Dude, someone's going to finally get you. That's the one thing. You're out on the street. You're out there. You're like, oh, let me get, let me get warm in this airport thing. Like, ah, I shit myself. Damn it. Yeah. Someone's going to eventually be like, hey, come here. Come here. Yeah. Get you in and be like, hey, it's okay. You shit yourself. Here's some soup. You're like, fucking sweet. Or you just, I wonder how long you'd go. I don't know how long they go. dumped pants. Oh, with the dumped pants? They'll let that ride. That's a cry for help. Yeah. Or they'll just wipe on the street with bare True. ass in front you of see, like a restaurant, in front of like a cafe. You see like. that every now and again, dude. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, watch out, dog shit. And I'll look, I'll be like, nah. It's... Nope. That's a human. There was a lady who was living in her car up where we used to live. And when we moved, like we only moved like 10 blocks down. Yeah. She fucking moved with us. Not with us, obviously, but yeah. she happened to be right there again. Nice. Dude, she was taking fucking dumps. Because <laughs> 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 I was like, people are like, dude, there's this lady. I'm like, yeah, she's living near us. She just lives in her car. She was open her door and her le- she puts her legs out on like the sidewalk and just lays on her back. So you just see this lady's legs all day. And there's just a ton of clothes in there. And then like two in the morning, she'll just rip a dump on the sidewalk <laughs> and then go lay back down. It's not bad. I mean, dude, it's one way to live. Yeah. And in their defense, they're not allowed in anywhere. True. They tried to have a house and everyone took their house. Yeah. They had a house, you know, maybe they partied a little bit too hard. Maybe their boyfriend was selling heroin yeah. and got arrested. Or maybe their parents were bums also. Maybe their pa- Yeah, true. Or maybe they took their parents' TV like 10 times. Yeah. That's the gold mine, dude. The parents buying TVs? Just, yeah, just you gotta going be like, back All right, to your This time house. I won't do it. Yeah, dude. Just being like, <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Yeah, just sitting there waiting for your parents to go to bed. <laughs> dude, I knew someone who smoked crack. Did I ever tell you about this? A guy who was telling me like how you think when you're smoking crack? Yeah, a little bit. But tell yeah, me again. I think I told you. The... Uh, he was telling me, like, you, you smoke crack and you're like, damn, dude, like, I'm smart. You think you're smart as fuck. Yes. Like, you're genuinely like, yeah. holy fuck, I'm a genius. And then you just start hitting being like, I don't need an AC unit. I don't need a refrigerator. It's like, I can get money for I can that. sell all this shit. He's like, I can just get takeout. I need an empty room. Yeah, dude. And you so start dance. Dude, and you think you're killing it the whole time. I can't imagine. Meth must, meth must be that plus, like, 
you gotta also realize that's how a lot of people exist true not on crack just like i'm i'm smarter than everybody here i don't need any of this stuff <laughs> I'm, it, I'm doing so well yeah man and then you wake up one day and you're like fuck yeah be like maybe i'm wrong yeah man especially when you're like there's dudes who do that th- that shit where you kind of like lightly squat for the winter time. You get a pl- you like scramble together a thing, get a place, then you're just like, I don't have to worry about money for like six months. And they'll kick yeah. me out. It's kind of chill. I support them. Pretty I take chill. back about killing them. We don't need to kill them. I don't think we need to kill them. I think we need to make them. I can't give fight. Them the problem is according to the drug class, and then they can use the money for the fights to fund low income housing that they can destroy slowly, and then we'll just keep them. Keep fighting. doing it. Yeah, keep them fighting. We got, dude. We got to figure something. I just want to find something sustainable. It's the it's the drugs. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the drugs. True. So, what do you think? We could probably just hook them up then. We could kill all these bums, and then say no more drugs. Yeah. I also wonder if super. I <laughs> also wonder if that's how the super super wealthy view us. Definitely. Being like, oh yeah, dude, the middle class, we should fucking bomb it. We should uh, release opiate prescriptions and uh, tell people they're not. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did. Pretty much. It is funny to notice how they were classified as dangerous for like 200 years. Yeah. The opium wars in China, and all of a sudden in the 90s, they're like, Meh, no, these ones aren't. They're good. <laughs> Here, sell these. I'll send a hot pharmaceutical rep to your doctor's office they are hot dude they are sweet babies god and they deal death dude do you think the doctors take them down ever doctors have to 100 percent. god damn dude just some spectacled dork finally getting some hot ass saleswoman ass too saleswoman ass it's some of the finest ass. you ever watch property sex What's porno that? where it's like realtor ladies what bro fired up what the fuck is, it, like is it. it based on real realtor ladies no it's just a lady like showing you a house and she and then it's like, how can we seal the deal? I know one way. That happens in real life. Yeah, it's pretty much right. That's what girl realtors do. Dude, a lot they of them suck. Have to, I'm kidding, obviously, but the they might suck. I'm might going off of one example. Fuck. I'm going off one example, and I used to work for a builder who was like 75, and he took down a realtor who was like 40 when he was like in his 70s. Damn. He's like, you know that chick? I fucked her. And I was just like, <laughs> oh no. He's like, two years ago, we were sitting, it was slow. He's like, oh, they're drunks anyway. And he was like, she got hammered. I fucked her. She probably wanted to sell one of my developments. <laughs> oh. I was like, God damn. Dang, bro. God, we got to we gotta learn the lyrics to Dragula. True. What time is it? 7.01. We got time to learn the lyrics. Yeah, we can write them down. How long, how long is this podcast? We're at an hour, but we do take that break. So. True. <laughs> Okay, we got five more minutes. We got five minutes in the tank. I know we have five minutes. I, dude, I guarantee fucking TV do. What's going on? Five I wanted to let you know that uh, Pharma actually spends six point five bill, so not, not 50. fifty. No, six point five. Still, that's a big number. It's still crazy. I misplaced, still I misplaced the decimal, dude. I know. I know. Don't I'm be sorry. a stickler. I just I found out I didn't want in the, the, so the want one. Th- yeah, in the, the one thing you chime in on is to fact check, Matt. <laughs> So that's what I, I wanted to make sure you were scrutinized for getting your facts Five, what is it you say? 6.5. 6.5. See, dude, I have number dyslexia. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it yet. All right. No, I'm kidding. No, I, I'm glad you pointed that out. We need to Guys, be I'm factual. So sorry. Still I a lot. I, I believe, though, it's more, they spend more in advertising than they do in R&D. Look that up, but you know. Okay, I'm on it. The, um, <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, we can do five minutes on that. But yeah, I. I <laughs> <laughs> we can do five minutes on whatever we want. Dude, we can do whatever we want. Dude, I had a fucked up dream last night. What happened? It was before I knew I got Rogies got attacked on SNL. I had a dream. We had to go do Rogies podcast. Yes. And it was in like a weird office building. And I like woke up and we're, we're sitting there and the whole time he was stone fucking silent. Same stand up dream when I go do stand up and yeah. like, no one like I'm like, shit, what do I talk about? We're stone silent. Nothing was happening. People kept coming in the room and like it was just the, the understanding was like, let's just try this again. This sucks. None of us. Could, we couldn't talk. None one had anything to say. We just kept looking at each yeah, other. Dude. And he was pissed. I lived this. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there like. And he was pissed. And I was like in the dream. It was, there was other stuff going on. Just in the middle of this, people, like a lady came in. She's like, can I film my special in your house? And he was like, no. And she was like, what the fuck? And then he was like, we'll just do this later. So he dropped me off in my hotel. We all got out of the hotel. You dream of rogies? I dreamt of rogies, dude. <laughs> rogies was pissed. He was in a bad. He was you dreamed at, of an angry rogies. Yeah, he, just, he, he wasn't. That's he, a bad omen. He wasn't angry. He was. He was just. He was just stressed, dude. He was fed up. That's a bad omen, dude. He, he was like, he drove us in like a like a, a Ford Explorer. 
dropped us off. I got to the hotel room. I re- realized I was in the wrong state. It was a stressful fucking dream. <laughs> so I get in this elevator and I, I'm pushing up through the ceiling, but there was fucking, there was a like, whatchamacallit? There was just like shit there. Not not a ceiling. It was uh, insulation. Yeah. So I'm pushing up through insulation and I'm like, this fucking elevator sucks. And the people who worked there were like, tell me about it, dude. We got to use this elevator <laughs> all the time. And then I go to my room. My whole, Brittany's there with Maya and I'm like, what are you guys doing here? And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, dude, it didn't go well. And they're like, you got to get out of here. And I was like, all right. And I left, came down through another room and there was these Irish ladies singing a song, a beautiful song. And I was like, I should just stay here and listen to them. And I looked at them and I was like, you guys are the sirens. They're the sirens. They went like this. Yes. And I was like, I got to get out of here. And they smiled. This is a classic Odysseus. I left the room. I got out. You're Odysseus. It was crazy, dude. Yeah. I woke up just like, (gasps) it was intensely stressful. You do remind me of Odysseus. (laughs) Thank you. Very silver tongued Odysseus. (laughs) Dude, I'm the, more I'm more Agamemnon. You think you're Agamemnon? Yeah. Really? Somebody took my girlfriend. I'm going to war. <laughs> Cocksuckers. Dude, the sirens are so pumped when I was like, yeah. you guys are sirens. Rogies like, is Achilles, yes. dude. I think so. Rogies is Achilles. I think so. He was pissed. Everyone was coming in. That's but, Achilles, dude. dude Billy and Spud came in. Achilles. Billy and Spud came in. We're like, check it out. It's Billy and Spud. And he just went. And I was that like, was probably that's probably pretty, pretty realistic. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yo, Billy and Spud are here. Like, go, well, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> it it, dude, like it was it. just people could kept coming in, and being like, "Can I do this? Can I do this?" And he was just going. <sighs> he was so pissed. Yeah, that's. I think kind probably of his, pretty, I think <laughs> that's kind of his life. People <laughs> like, can I do this? Can I have this? That was the dream. The dream yeah. was one of just kind of like, damn, dude. And then I woke up, just going. Whoa. And then I woke up to all that news, and I said, "God damn, dude." I've had I've had trouble sleeping myself. Really? Yeah. I've, I every time I go to sleep, it's very stressful. Dude, this was it's always yeah. like stressful, fucked up dreams. Dude, this was bad. Maybe something's wrong. Just stress, bro. Just the subconscious rinsing itself out. That dude, the sirens are the coolest. That was the only part of the dream I that pumped is sick. on. Just being like, yes, I saw the sirens and I recognized them. Dude, and I, I was Irish like, women singing. There's beautiful Irish ladies just singing these beautiful songs, and I was all so tired from running around. I was like, I'm just gonna sit I here. would like to relax. They I'm were drawing you to the rocks. Dude. They're pulling me in, dude. Yeah. yeah, they're pulling me in. I just went. You guys are. You these. are basically silver tongued. Dude. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that would take up five minutes, but Billy's Billy's Ajax. For sure. In that. In dude, the, Ajax just ripped a nasty gig. Dude, he's a showman, dude. No, I, I meant Ajax, the mythical one, but Ajax, True. your cousin. He reminded cousin. me of Ajax. So he was down at the party. He, told he is me, a showman. Dude, he had to go do a gig. I believe it was at a nudist colony. <laughs> so fucking nasty. <laughs> they told him, oh, it's just like a little side thing. Come play a couple songs and leave. Like He thought it was like a, like a kind of a bar thing. He shows up. You'll understand the drama on stage. Yeah. Shows up. They go. All right, you're on the main stage in 20 minutes. You need to. You're doing an hour long set. Whoa. He was planning on playing a couple songs at a bar. Dude, he goes hadn't hadn't played out. I think he said like five or six years. He goes no problem. Rips a fucking hour long set, crushes it, dude. They tell him to come back, and it, like any master, he's like, yeah, dude, I was rusty. It sucked. And I was like, well, you're gonna go back. He's like, yeah, they want me back. I'm like, oh, fucking show. He probably me, murdered. Probably crushed, dude. And he's big. Yeah, dude. When you see a big guy like that rocking. It's dude, it's, it's something awesome. special. It is so sick, dude. And he's yeah. nasty. He's the voice of a fucking angel. Does he really? He you have Philadelphia... a good voice. No, I'm in no age. You better, you better break it out tonight. <clears throat> I will. I will. Dude, I just ordered a Native American flute, too. Really? I could have guessed that. Key of G. <laughs> That's what I was up last night doing. Ordering Native American flutes? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a theremin. Did you ever see a theremin? Dude, they're an instrument that you play by not touching anything. There's a feel they emit an electronic field of frequencies. That you manipulate with your hands, and you can find real musical notes and play them. Pretty fucking sick. Oh, that is cool. Where can people find you? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's you ripping the theremin. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a theremin. You just, dude, you're playing like this. You're you're in a field, and if you move while I'm playing the theremin, you would distort the field, and I'd have to find the. I'll notes be honest. Elsewhere. Everybody playing it looks like a huge fucking dork. You say that, dude. But if I was ripping the theremin right now, you'd be in tears, dude. You, think? you wouldn't leave the room. I would sirenize you. you. If I was sitting me? here going, dude, if we get a video of a, a lady, there's a lady crushing the theremin I was watching on YouTube last night. It's pretty fucking sick. Fuck. I'm going to start, dude, I'm going to get a Spotify that's just me playing Native American flute and just put out just hours of fucking flute songs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This podcast is also, done. Also, my... My flute, in case you're wondering, is in 432 hertz. I didn't. Their normal metal is 440. I'd be fucking furious if it wasn't. I, dude, it wouldn't. I, I can be. That'd be non-healing. Fucking. That'd yeah. be horrible, dude. But yeah, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have a Native American flute. Brittany's gonna be furious when I open uh, the mail. Yeah. Find a $200 Native American flute. 
<laughs> tell her. That was mid range, dude. I, Don't I was tell her. eyeing up a three hundred twenty dollar. I think it was a Kia V bass flute. Oh my! God. I'm gonna get a little better before Just I get that. For, for sure, I'm gonna buy my brother one for Christmas. I got nothing coming up. Mm. I gotta go to Jamaica she on Wednesday. Oh, on Wednesday, God. I'm going to Jamaica because oh, I'm an island boy. Dude, it's gonna be so hard for you not to do that the whole time. I might be top shot at the fucking thing at the resort. I think when's a rally? Is that your next? Yeah, it's December, I believe, second and third. I like that. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll just put it on the thing. Rally, <laughs> December second and third. If you look up Helium St. Louis, I'll be on there. They put that on the website too. I think that's. Oh, it. nice. Oh yeah, I should do dates. Yeah. No, a bird dog. My phone. No, find the goddamn phone. I think. Uh... <laughs> oh, December twenty second and twenty third. If it ain't sold out already, we're gonna do the twenty second. I believe at Helium Philly is gonna be some stand up, joking around with friends. And then I think the twenty third is a live podcast from Helium. Nice. And then for New Year's, I'll be headlining the Irvine Improv. You be back out in back California, out in Cali, bro. dude. West Coast fucks heavy with me. You better get that thing on you, dude. I do have that thing on me. I'm basically Biggie out there. You better get that they thing on you. They know I've talked shit. Yeah, and watch those bums, too. The bums are going to get me. January 6th, 7th, and 8th, I'll be headlining Caroline's on Broadway here nice. in New York City. Would, do you want to open 6th, 7th, I'll and 8th? I'll be in St. Louis, bro. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Is that January? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be in St. Louis. Dang, gum it. I know. The That'd 13th, be fun. 14th, and 15th, I'll be at the Tacoma Comedy Club. And the 20th, 21st, and 22nd is that headlining the Summit City Comedy Club. Do you still not know where that is? Oh, I do now. I clicked on my calendar. Where it's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hell yeah, dude. Fort Wayne's going to be fucking Fort crazy. Fort Wayne's going to be lit, dude. Yeah, I'm doing Raleigh. In, Raleigh. I don't know. How do you say it? People Raleigh. Doing, Raleigh. Raleigh. Doing Raleigh in December 3rd and 4th. Uh, Helium St. Louis, January 7th and 8th. Helium Indy, February 4th and 5th. Cap City, Austin in March. Yeah, helium boy. I'm a helium boy. Wait, when are you doing Cap City? Uh, March 18th and 19th. You know who's down there, right? Who? The Saint. The boy, dude. Uh, unfortunately, I'll be March 18th and 19th. I'll be at Dania Beach. Hell yeah. Dania Beach. Dania. <laughs> Dania Beach in Florida. Nice. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, Ooh, that's Lauderdale? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. That's spring break, bro. I will be down there in spring break. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. That'll be fun. All right. that's Thank you for listening to our podcast. Yeah, man. Have a good Thanks week, everybody.